Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to do my premium boxes harm unboxing for the month of September. I did dive in as I did with the other ones. In my opinion, it's also so good. Now you guys know I'm usually pretty good at coming out of my face and complaining if there's something to complain about, but just by browsing my box, I don't really think there's much to complain about. So let's dive on and let me show you everything that I got. Also, if you're new to BoxyCharm, just know that the premium box retails for $35 every single month. You're gonna get six to seven, they say seven, but no girl. It's usually six full-size items, skincare, beauty, and like tools, makeup, that kind of stuff. I do get this box for review so that I can reveal it to you guys and give you guys my honest thoughts. So let's dive on in. The first item I got is the 10 Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. All right, so this is a gradual version, which means that you apply your serum and it, you will gradually get somewhat of a tan. I'm not sure that I'll use this, so I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm already tan as it is, okay. And I have way too many foundations to go ahead and finagle with my skin tone, and then at the end of the day, my foundations won't match again. So we're gonna set this over to the side. However, personal preference and opinion. I live in Florida, so it doesn't matter. This is something that Floridians can use on a, you know, every single month throughout the entire year, and that's perfectly fine. But this would have been cool had it been featured more so like in May, June, that way people could really, really get the most out of this product just because summer's pretty much gone. It's September, you know? So that's just a thought that I have in mind here. Then we have the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm with Nourishing Benefits. This has a color. Do you have a color? It does have a color. It's called the Berry Balm with Natural Tint. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on because it has color, so I'm not mad at it. As long as lip balm has some, so, oh no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Whatever, too late now. But when it comes out, you see it has color to it. It's just, I am gonna say, I like this applicator though. Cause I like that I don't have to dip my finger into it. This is, this is nice. And it smells like berries. So it's cute. Oh, that's nice and thick. Like that's gonna, oh, that's nice and thick. <laughs> Mm, it's a little sweet too. Has a little, little, little. It's sweet, but it's also fragranced. So I can kind of taste the perfuminess to it. Let me let me sip on my coffee, girl. Okay, I like the packaging. I like the applicator. How moisturizing it is. I don't like the taste. I changed my mind. Then I got the Tarte Glotion, which I'm really excited about. It's their Skin Perfector. It is their three-in-one formula, which perfects, enhances, and Prime. Damn, my lights are really bright, but this is what the baby looks like. Let's try the Glotion. It has a little bit of a tint to it, which I'm cool with, because that's the whole point. It's supposed to apply some luminosity to your skin. You can apply this with or without makeup, which is also awesome. So let's... Guys, honestly, now that I look at it, and I'm feeling it. The vibe of this particular product is nothing super, super duper special, in my opinion. So if you do not receive it in your box, do not be mad because look, I mean, it's similar to the Clarence SOS. It is similar to the Laura Mercier that I unboxed uh, previously. It's illuminating, it's a primer, it's basically the same thing. It's very similar to the Elemis Superfood, um, their Glow Priming Moisturizer. It is so similar to so many items that we've already received. So yeah, if you don't get it in your box, don't be mad. Although this looks really good on the skin. Like I would probably get away with just applying this, some concealer, powder, a little bit of bronzer, cream blush, and call it a day. Like it looks, it looks good. It looks good. It's a nice product. Feels nice. The next item is by Complex Culture, which is um, my understanding, Ipsy's brand. I'm gonna show you guys this, but I don't feel like I'm actually gonna like use it, use it. You know what I mean? This is what it looks like. It is their Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. I really like the under eye massager situation that I got in the previous box. I've really been enjoying that one. This also pulses. So I think I'm gonna set this to the side and decide whether or not I am going to. I don't really even wanna touch it just in case I decide to actually give it away. So we're gonna have this on the side. Guys, I received the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. <gasps> no! Do you see what I see? 
No! Oh, there's crumbs everywhere. It spilled all over my vanity. She's broken. See, that's not cool. And that's the shade that I would have wanted to use all over my face. So this sucks. Like, sucks. Sucks, sucks. Big time. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can try to like repress her or something, but that's not fair, man. It broke. I just want to swatch these for you guys. Here's what the highlighters look like on like a finger swatch. That's kind of cute. I'm kind of upset and scared of that orange really quickly, which sucks. So I'm going to, um, um, and you know what? I'm not even gonna like be too, too upset. I'm not gonna reach out to BoxyCharm or anything. This is a PR box. They sent it to me for free. So I mean, it's kind of petty to be like, mm -hmm. thank you for the free box, but one of the items broke. I'm not doing that. Would they send me a replacement? Absolutely. Do I really need them to replace it? No, I'm not that top girl, okay? So we'll set that palette to the side. We're definitely gonna use it in this video. I'll just avoid using that corally shade or I'll put like, I'll end up crumbling up even more and then put it in under the, a little container and use it off of that. So I will still use it. I will still use that shade. I just have to either transport it somewhere else and make it more into a powder highlight or press it. I'll figure that out later. And then last but not least, I received a Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette, which I'm excited for because I really wanted one of these. The one that I received is the Snap Shadow in the shade Cool Neutrals. Here's the thing, I wanted to make a correction. When I did my BoxyCharm game show, I said I have not tried the formulas. I am so wrong. How could I ever forget about the Fenty Beauty Takeover box? In that box, I received the Fenty Beauty palette. Yes, I did. I used it. I loved it. It was great. If you haven't seen that unboxing, the quality's not the same, but it's up on my channel. Oh, my baby's crying. Look who just woke up. Mama Tutu. Alala. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, she's not cooperating and she's not having it. But what I was saying was, I did like the eyeshadow palette that came in the Fenty Beauty Takeover box. So that is a correction on my part, but I haven't tried any of these and she has like a nice collection of them. So I'm really excited to have received this one. Let me show you the inside. Let me see if I can multitask here. Hold on. Oh, my little bobblehead. All right, here is what the color story of mine looks like. Ow, 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 you're pulling my hair. Little Miss Sunshine just woke up and she's hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead. Feed her, spend some cute tea with her, and then um, I'll apply most of my face and we'll come back and try the highlighter palette as well as the Fenty Beauty palette. Okay, we are back and the face is on, so we're gonna go ahead and play around with this eyeshadow palette, which I've gotta admit, I'm digging the purple. Th so these three tones here, which I'm... <laughs> Tell me that purple's not beautiful. And then this, in this like shimmery gray, I don't even know. All I know is that we are gonna dive on in and try to create something awesome. So of course I'm gonna dip in to the very first shade. The very first shade is going to be the gray. I, it has to be because it's beautiful. I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Maybe I should have gone with the purple instead. I'm gonna diffuse that really well, but I don't wanna bring it out way too much. I absolutely love it with an eyeshadow palette is just so effortless to use, honestly. That's looking amazeballs. Now I'm gonna dip into the purple and I'm gonna apply that directly on the lid from beginning to end. And yeah, it's gonna melt in to that brown. It's okay. I'm gonna go back in with that initial brush and just blend out that edge. I'm gonna dip into the purple again and I'm going to lightly apply it out here. I kind of just wanna warm that up a little bit. But see, once you blend it out, it's like really diffused. So it's not gonna be super purple when you're done. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and I'm gonna dip into this frosty shade that's beautiful. It's like a gray frosty. And I'm going to tap that on the center. I'm not trying to really build it. I just wanna kind of have a little something to hit the light in a really pretty way. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Now, I would have definitely just done the purple on its own and smoked out the outer corner, but I just felt like I wanted to do something a little different. I feel like people don't often mix bright colors with deeper colors. I'm not 100% sure why not though. I mean, that's how eyeshadow colors are created. You mix and blend pigments until you get the shade that you're looking for. So it's the norm really. And you guys know how it is. I like to like create looks that not everyone would think of when you see an eyeshadow palette, such as this one. You know, people would automatically think, oh, well these two would work together and just these two, but no, like you can definitely play around with a color story and create something super different and super pretty. 
Now, of course, we can't be ourselves if we don't go ahead and add some of that purple on the lower portion of the eyes. And yes, I'm going to mix some of the brown into it as well to deepen it up. That way it all kind of like wraps around each other. However, I'm going to keep it fairly purple on the inner portions and only really darken out the outer parts of the lower lash line. Now for the eyes, I so far like what I have going on. I'm gonna go ahead, apply a black liner on my waterline, some lashes, mascara, and then we'll come back and play around with the highlighter palette. All right, the eyes are done. What do you guys think? Aren't they really pretty? Like they're still purpley, but kind of fall vibes, smoky, sensual. I love it, I love it. I wish I didn't have to take these off. Like it was easy to put together, and I love it, it's so pretty. But now, we're gonna go ahead and try the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey palette, which I'm still bummed that this baby over here is broken. But you know what, I feel like that's the one that I actually wanna use. Is that lame or what? The only issue is because she's broken, it's going to pick up in a messy, 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 messy way. So I'm gonna grab my Maracuja Mist by Tarte, and we're gonna spray my brush. Um, the brush that I'm using is the Soft Blend 50 by Sigma Beauty. And I am going to lightly dip into the palette. The reason why I did the whole spraying is because it is so crumbled. I'm definitely going to get tons of fallout. So by spraying my brush, it's going to grab onto the powder and allow me to really MacGyver the situation. So I really wanted this color. Look how pretty it is. Now, I do have to blend it out. It's not blended. It's just spot applying in a sense because of the fact that it's so crumbly i'm so sad we're gonna fix it we're gonna make we're, we're gonna make this one work okay so now I'm, I'm gonna turn my brush around where it's not wet and we're gonna start blending and this is so pigmented look at that and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side all right and then whatever's left on the brush which shouldn't be a lot really because we didn't pick up too too much tip of the nose all right guys, now those were all the items featured in my premium BoxyCharm September variation. I personally think this box was really good. My opinion, it's a really, really good one and it was pretty much all makeup, all makeup box. That's what I've been asking for. Thank you, BoxyCharm gods. You guys listened. This box was really good. Every single item was freaking awesome. I literally had zero issues other than my pan being broken, but we can make that work. I'm so excited for all of these items. Let me know down below what was your choice, if it was included in my box. Also, I want your feedback on my variation. Did you like my variation? Do you wish you get my variation? I really wanna hear everything you guys are thinking right about now after seeing this tutorial, after seeing the unboxing. I am so excited. I'm not gonna stop saying it because I am. And that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxing tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are going to absolutely love. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys.